philosophy. He has done great things. I feel a shift in the house. I said, He has done great things. He has done great things. When I look back over my life and I see where God has brought me from, I got a prize in my spirit. He has done great things for me, so bless the Lord. Come on, one more time. Bless the Lord. Well, come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. I said, come on and bless him. Oh, ba 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 ta da 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 ba ho. Come on and bless him. If you're blessing him right now, whether you're in the house or whether you're watching this online, if you're truly blessing him, you should be feeling the glory that I feel. When I bless the Lord, I feel the glory. When I begin to say hallelujah, woo, ba 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 da 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 ba I said, when I shout hallelujah, I begin to feel the shift. When I say thank you, Jesus, I begin to feel the turn around. Yeah! Woo. I know the enemy want to stop your praise. I said, I know the enemy want to stop your praise. But it's in these moments when the enemy want to stop your praise. It's in these moments that you got to buckle down and give a praise. It's in these moments that you got to open up your mouth and say, Lord, in spite of, Lord, in spite of, I lift my hands, I praise you, I give you glory. Ah. ship right now. I don't know what you're waiting on, but I feel the ship of God right now. God is shifting right now. God is moving right now. Jump into the ship. Receive the ship in your life. September is yielding a turnaround. September is yielding a breakthrough. September. You should be praising them. You should be praising them. You should be praising them. You should be giving them the glory. Oh, my, my, my. Receive the better. Come on, receive better. God has better. God has more. There is more in store for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open up your mouth and shout better. Come on, type it in the comments. Type better, better, better. Better, better, better. Come on, let's say it a little bit. Everything in my life, everything in my life, everything in my life, everything in my life, it's got better. It just got better. It just got better. It just got better. Everything in my life. Everything in my life. If it pertains to me, if it pertains to you, everything in my life, it just got better. My miracle, my breakthrough. Everything in my life. Everything in my life. My attitude is better. My attitude is better. My faith is better. My belief is better. It's turning around. It's turning around. My body's better. My body's better. The pain is gone. I decree better. The worry is gone. The stress is gone. The worry is gone. The stress is gone. Everything in my life. Everything in my life just got better. Just got better. It's better, better, better. Better right now. Better, better, better. Yeah.
looking better. Look at somebody else say it's already looking better. I can see myself in the future. And you look so much better than you did before. Because we know who holds our future, we know that it's a guarantee, it's a guarantee on it, that everything somebody shouted out better. Shout it out better! 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 Yes, sir! Yeah, 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 yeah! Everything in my life, it just got better. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands up to the Lord and let him know that you appreciate him for caring for you, for he is Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And he has not changed and he never will. Hallelujah. So therefore, we lift our hands unto him and we say hallelujah. Hallelujah unto him. For we give him hallelujah, salvation, and glory. All honor and power belongs unto the Lord. How many of you know that the Lord our God is mighty? How many of you know the Lord our God is omnipotent? He's omniscient. He is all that we need him to be. And for that, we give him glory and we give him honor. Come on, lift your hands and begin to let the worship flow from your mouth. Oh, yeah. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. Yes, the Lord.
worship is real, yes. My worship is real. Yes, I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. My worship is real, yeah, yeah. I lift my hands and say thank you, Jesus. Anybody got to thank you, Jesus, in your spirit? You can say your worship is real, yes. Because you're connected to the Father. You say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you, yeah. My worship is real. I say, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. to welcome you to more manifestation church where God is the greatest power and look at somebody and say we'll never be defeated we'll never be defeated because we have victory on our side hallelujah hallelujah we have victory on our side the Lord said it to me this week he said that not only will you rest but you will rejoice not only will you rest in me, rest is worship. You want to know what I'm talking about? When the storm was out on the ocean, minister, when Jesus was on the boat, the disciples was troubled. They was looking for him, saying, Master, Master, what we going to do? The storm is troubled. 
when they found Jesus, he was in the hinder part of the boat, had him a good old pillow. Let me exaggerate. He got a pillow and a blanket, and he was asleep. Why was he asleep? Because he trusted in his God and knowing that in the midst of the storm, that God is in control. So no matter what storm you may have faced or no matter what storm you are going through, know that God is in control. How many of you know that God is in control and you can worship in the midst of the storm and God wants us to rejoice because we have the victory in him. Tonight I want to lead us into our giving on tonight. Hallelujah. And I recognize something, Pastor, that today is September 7th. Somebody say 9-7. 9-7. So when you look at numbers, numbers in their order, in their spiritual meaning, the number seven means complete. Somebody say it means complete. It means complete. And if you want to look at a definition for it, uh, let me tell you what it says. Because we are confessing that we are complete as an adjective it says having all the necessary or appropriate parts and how many of you know that with God all things are possible and that with God we are complete can somebody say that complete we are complete so then the number nine means divinely complete the number nine means divinely complete. So either way you look at it, today is a day of completeness and it's divine completeness. So what I wanna challenge you on tonight, I wanna challenge you to get your best seed. We wanna give our best seed. I wanna challenge you to give in the multiples of seven, if you can, I'm giving $21 on tonight. So if you wanna join me with 21, do that. If you have seven, if you got 70 cents, if you have 700, if you got 7,000, I want to challenge you to plant your seed into the house of the Lord. Because as we give unto the Lord, he gives back unto us. How does he do it? Press down, shaking together. See, you already with me and running over. Now, I, I'm not a dancer. <laughs> Shameless plug. I'm not, a, I'm not a dancer. But I know how to say press down. Can you do that with me, Jari? Press down shaking together and running over yes yes he will do that if those of you that are watching with us online you will see the ways that you can give you can give via cash app dollar sign more manifestation church or you can give via givelify by searching the name of the church more manifestation church how many of you know that as pastor has spoken up to us that september is going to be a time to remember and we're going to remember the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And we're going to remember that God is making me complete. Is that anybody's testimony? Come on, shout it out. I am complete. I am complete. Type it in the comments. I am complete. I am complete. And whatever it is that you need to make your life be complete, Listen, all you got to do is partner with God. Add God into the equation, and you shall be complete. Amen? Amen. Come on, those of you that are in the house, if, you, if you're giving, come on, let's stand. If you're giving via electronic, hold your device up. Um, if you're giving with cash, you can do so. The containers are here. I'm giving via cash. I'm giving my $21 seed. And I know that God is going to meet us at our point of need. Let's agree together in prayer. Father, we thank you now for these seeds being sown. Thank you, Father, for you know the things that we have need of. Thank you, God, for being the omniscient, all-knowing, all-powerful God that you make us complete in you, God. We thank you, God, for our faith being stretched even more, God. I thank you, Father, because we know that we have not because we ask not. So I thank you, God, for those that need things in their life, God, that they will be holy, so holy, bold soldiers to ask in faith and believe in God that you will make everything in their life better and not so complete on today. 
We thank you, God, for every seed being sowed. Thank you, Father, for every tithe giver. Thank you, O oh God, for those that are giving from far and near. Thank you, God, for testimonies that shall come from sowing this seed, God. We give you glory and we give you honor and give you praise in Jesus' name. Everybody shout amen. Amen. somebody say leave it alone leave it alone when you leave it alone God will take care of it and he will handle it all how many are ready for the word of God to come on tonight for the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword and at the end of the day everything else will fail but the word of God so we're going to receive our pastor at this time I ask that you put your hands together and give God a great round of applause and praise to God Pastor Justin Thomas. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord one more praise on tonight. Amen. God is great. And he is greatly to be praised. Thank you so much for what you have given on tonight. For those of you who have sown, amen. Thank God for the praise and the worship time. Thank God for all of you all who are in the house on tonight, amen, God bless, amen, Reverend Face, and on tonight, thank God for you, thank God for Prophetess Judith in the house on tonight, and for, amen, her children, amen, thank God for you all being here, honor to these musicians on tonight, amen, and of course, amen, to my wife, Lady Candace, amen, thank God for her, amen, what an anointing, amen, what an anointing, amen, what a, what a gift, amen, uh, we thank God, amen, for this, amen, seventh day of Amen. Of these, I mean, I'm sorry, December. Amen. I'm, I, I went to December. I went to December just then, and uh, we'll see what the Lord has to say about that. But we thank God that, Amen. September is going to be a month to remember, Amen. And we are decreeing and declaring more, Amen. And that God will turn some things around, Amen. In the month of September, Amen. Somebody say this month. Amen. God is doing, amen, amazing things, amen, in the lives of his people. Amen. I thank God, amen, for the opportunity, amen, to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Thank God for those who are watching us online. Amen. I did see, amen, Prophetess Natasha. We give honor to her. Amen. And to those, amen, who have joined, amen, God bless you. Sister Rhonda, amen. I saw Prophetess Leslie on uh, Salome Bell. Amen. Hello to you all. Amen. Amen. Sister Rotisha. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Uh, D.K. Montgomery. Amen. That's, that man of God is from, I believe, from North Carolina. Amen. God bless the man of God. Amen. I saw Lady Dykes on earlier. Amen. Sister Ebony, God bless all of you, uh, the Lord's people. Amen. If I did not call your name, it's just because I didn't see you. Amen. But we just want to acknowledge a couple of you. We do thank God for our online audience, our e-church. Amen. Thank God. Amen. That you all take the time. Amen. Amen. To log into our service. Amen. Wednesday night is a, a night all over the United States. Amen. Not all churches, but a lot of churches have Wednesday night service. Amen. And so we have moved our service from Thursday to Wednesday. And so we thank God, amen, that you have taken the time, amen, to log in to us. Amen. Uh, to tune in to what the Lord is doing over here at More Manifestation. Amen. Amen. And thank God, amen, for your sacrifice. Amen. From the word of the Lord on tonight, Isaiah 40. Amen. Isaiah 
40 amen Isaiah 40 thank God again for this anointed mu music these anointed musicians bless y'all man of God amen bless both of y'all uh, amen I often uh uh, tell them, amen, I ain't, I ain't trying to do it, we ain't trying to do it without you, amen, <laughs> and so uh, thank God, amen, for, amen, so much is added to the service, amen, uh, not just by music, but by anointed music, amen, not just by uh, music itself, but uh, by uh, anointed music, there's a lot of music out in the world that can move you and sway you a lot of different ways, but I thank God for the anointing, amen, God's anointing, let me be specific about God's anointing, amen, that is on the life, amen of these musicians and so I'm grateful uh, on tonight amen for what the Lord uh, is doing and what the Lord has has done amen though trials come on every hand I feel like I feel like going on. Let me turn in your Bibles, Isaiah 40, verse 28. I feel like going on. Thank you, Jesus. No trials come. No trials come on every hand. Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. Verse 31 and final. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. 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 God bless you on tonight. Lady Candace, amen. That might not sound like enough to be uh, anything on tonight, but for the next few moments, amen, I want to use for a subject. If you're in the house, say it with me. If you're watching us online, uh, just say uh, to your neighbor, say, it's the wait for me. It's the wait. It's the wait for me. It's the wait for me. It is the wait. It's the wait for me. Amen. Amen. It, it is for this reason on tonight that I'm convinced, amen, first of all, first point, amen, I'm not going to be before uh, you too long, and, and that's not just, you know, the preacher cliche, I'm going to, we're going to work this thing, and so I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be closing in just, in just a little bit, amen, to the glory of God, amen, but it's for this reason that I'm convinced on tonight, amen, that point one, we must remember uh, what we know about God, right. amen, we must remember, amen, what we know about God. Uh, to know something or to have knowledge of something is to be aware of. Somebody say aware of. Uh, watch this. Through observation, through observation, uh, through inquiry, uh, in other words, through question 
or information uh, to be informed glory to God uh, I feel glory now glory to God I feel glory already because since I've known God thank you Jesus I found um, amen him to be faithful I found him to be faithful since I've known God since you've known God no doubt of uh, you found that he is a faithful God uh, it seemed like amen when others are not faithful uh, that I can depend on God to be faithful uh, when those that I expect it to be there for me uh, when those that I expected uh, to be in my corner especially in those devastating times of life uh, seem like everybody may have uh, went the other way uh, but God still is right here uh, we know God to be uh, faithful since I known God since I've known God uh, I found uh, that he will love me glory to God when uh, I seem not to love myself lady Candace uh, in other words when I when I make decisions that I know are not best for me. Uh, uh, it seems like I'm not loving myself. Uh, it seems like when I'm not caring uh, for myself. Uh, since I've known God, I found out that he'll love me, glory to God, even when I don't love myself. Uh, uh, since I've known God, uh, I've learned, thank you Jesus, that Reverend Facing, that he'll never leave me, glory to God, uh, nor will he forsake me, thank you Jesus. Uh, since I've known God uh, I've learned that no weapon come on Bible readers uh, no weapon that is formed against me uh, since I've known God prophetess Judas uh, I found out that the weapon may form thank you Jesus uh, but it shall not prosper uh, there's some things that the enemy wanted to do uh, but God didn't allow it because of his faithfulness to me God didn't allow the weapon hallelujah to consume me uh, God did not allow the shout if you will to take me down hallelujah but God gave me another chance uh, in the midst of my despair God gave me another chance uh, in the midst of my trial God gave me another chance thank you Jesus and so since I've known God I found out that no weapon formed against me shall be able to to prosper. Uh, I know that things may be stressful. Uh, I know you may have worry in your life. There's no doubt in our life there are things that we sometimes have to worry about. There are things that go on in our Christian walk. Uh, no doubt uh, there are things in our life that sometimes if we just keep it real, uh, it shake our faith. I know I've been there. Glory to God. I, I've been declaring faith, decreeing faith, preaching faith. Glory to God. Uh, posting a status about faith. I can't hear nobody but sometimes in our life uh, it seems like our faith uh, uh, may get shaken. Glory to God. Sometimes uh, in our life uh, it seems like the relationships uh, uh, they just, just don't seem to be going nowhere. Oh my God, I've invested my time. I've done the things that I felt like I needed to do. I've shown love. Glory to God. Even when love is not coming back this way, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Uh, one thing that I have to know. Somebody say one thing that you got to know. Uh, one thing that you got to know thank you Jesus Jay is that all things work together for the good thank you Jesus of those that love God and to those that are called according to his purpose on tonight I'm going to jump right into the text the text say has thou not known thank you Jesus has thou not heard uh, there are some things that we have to know and then there are some things in life uh, that we've heard glory to God uh, but the Holy Spirit said I gotta stay uh, uh, where I can hear something thank you Jesus I gotta stay Lady Candace uh, uh, where I can hear something uh, in other words uh, we hear so much foolishness uh, we hear so much drama uh, we hear so many things in our life uh, that seems not to edify us at all oh but I gotta stay somewhere where I can hear something uh, I'm in a season man of God that I need to to hear the goodness of the Lord I'm in the season uh, man of God that I don't have time uh, to be associated with people that are not going to
going to allow me to hear something. Oh my God. Thank you Jesus. Uh, if your inner circle uh, can't hear nothing, uh, it's time to shift. Thank you Jesus. Oh my God. Your inner circle is not just for uh, a foolery. Your inner circle is not just to have fun. Y'all understand. Your inner circle is not for you just to go out uh, and have a good time. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. I love to have a good time. I love to laugh. I love to get crazy. Oh my God. I love to have a good time. Oh my God. But I'm in a season. Thank you Jesus. That if those that are in my inner circle they can never hear uh, from God concerning me. Uh, if those that are in my inner circle uh, can never give me a word that can encourage me. If those that are in my inner circle uh, can never help me steer uh, in the direction of God. Uh, it's time to shift. Uh, thank you Jesus. Uh, look at your neighbor and say it's time to shift. Uh, prophetically I'm speaking on tonight uh, uh, that for some of us that are under the sound of my voice even now uh, that it's time to make a shift. Uh, God has been dealing with you uh, concerning a shift. Glory to God. And God say it's your time uh, to shift. And when you shift uh, somebody say when you shift. Uh, when you shift God say I got glory on the other side of the shift. Uh, when you shift uh, God say I got manifestation uh, on the other side of the shift. Uh, when you shift uh, God say I got favor on the other side of the shift. Uh, when you shift uh, somebody shout when you shift uh, uh, the mountain is going to be moved uh, when you shift. Uh, thank you Jesus. Uh, the pain will be gone. Uh, thank you Jesus. Uh, when you shift uh, on the other side of the shift uh, there is joy. Old school say joy. Unspeakable joy. Joy and full of glory. Old school say joy. God's great joy. Joy down in my soul. Sweet, beautiful, soul saving joy. Oh my God. Somebody say, oh joy in my soul. Thank you, Jesus. And so now the text says, Hast thou not known? Question mark. Hast thou not known? Question comes now. Has thou not heard? Thank you, Jesus. Uh, what is it that you've heard? We got your neighbors say some things you know. And then there's some things we've heard. Because uh, I've been around the world and I, I, I. Y'all understand. I've seen some things in my life. I've been around some things in my life life. I seen some ups. I seen some downs. I seen some valleys. Thank you Jesus. But in the midst of those things, there's some things that I heard about God. A preacher, what is it that you heard? I heard that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver you out of them all. Preacher, what is it that you heard? I heard that he'll give us beauty for ashes and that he'll give us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Preacher, what is it that you heard? Preacher, hallelujah. I heard David say, Lady Candace David say, I preached it a couple weeks ago. David said, I was young, but now I'm old. Thank you, Jesus. But I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Look at your neighbor and say, there's some things you heard, some things I heard. And so the text now, the text says, uh, we know God. We know God as an everlasting God. The text shows us that God is everlasting. Tell your neighbor, God is everlasting. Uh, God is everlasting just means that he's eternal, Reverend Faison. Uh, uh, he's eternal. Those that are watching uh, me online, that just means uh, that God is never ending amen. God is never ending. He's the alpha and the omega. He's the beginning and the end. Uh, he was there in creation and he's here now. Glory to God. Uh, he's everlasting. Somebody say everlasting. Uh, it just means that God is perpetual. God is perpetual. Uh, that just means that God, uh, he is exceeding. Y'all know I love that scripture. He's exceeding. God is exceeding. He, he's abundant. Hallelujah. Uh, he's more 
more. Oh, I feel a praise stirring in my spirit even now. Just look at somebody and say, God is more. Thank you, Jesus. Open up your mouth with a conviction. Type it in that comment box and say, God is more. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God, even in this moment, I hear it in my spirit. I prophesy more to your September. Thank you, Jesus. Who's willing to give God a praise right there? I prophesy more to your September. Uh, more faith. Somebody shout faith. More grace. Thank you, Jesus, that God is giving us a grace to endure the trial. That God is giving us more power. Somebody shout power. Uh, that God is giving us more abundance. That God is giving us more favor. Thank you, Jesus. And that God, glory to God, is giving us more money. Thank you, Jesus. There are some things uh, that we need to take care of. Yeah, I'm going to stay right there until God does it. I've been claiming it every week and I'm going to still keep professing it and still until God does it. There is more money in store for God's people. Thank you Jesus. There's some things that we have lined up. There's some deadlines that need to be taken care of and God by his power is getting ready to open the window of heaven and pour you out the blessing that you shall not have room enough to receive not having room means overflow thank you Jesus who can praise God for overflow not having room to receive sounds like expansion thank you Jesus have you ever had more than enough thank you Jesus I want to get to a place Lady Candace that I have so much until I I can't do nothing but be a blessing to somebody else. Who wants more so that you can be a blessing to the kingdom of God? Who wants more so that you can be a blessing to the ministry of God? Who wants more so that you can be a blessing to the work of the Lord? And so I prophesy more to your September. Thank you, Jesus. I got to close, Derek. I got to close. The Bible declares, the Bible declares, the Bible declares that God never faints. Look at somebody and say, God never faints. God never faints. He never faints. Neither does he get weary. Thank you, Jesus. In other words, God does not possess these capacities. God does not possess the capacities to faint. God does not possess possess the capacity uh, to get weary. Glory to God. Somebody shout glory to God. Uh, but instead, somebody say instead, uh, as our God, uh, he stands up with authority. Uh, somebody say yes, Lord. Uh, and the Bible, the Bible, the Bible declares, uh, hallelujah, in Isaiah 40 uh, and verse 29 the bible says he gives power to the faint and to them that he have no might he increases strength i want to let you know that if you're feeling faint in your spirit thank you jesus that god looks for somebody that he can increase strength in thank you lord jesus somebody shout glory to god so i want to say to you on tonight don't you dare faint because God is supplying power. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you dare faint. Because God is supplying strength. Thank you, Jesus. I hear Bishop William Murphy in my spirit right now. He said, you are, you are, you are, you are my strength. Strength like no other. Thank you, Jesus. And it reaches, it reaches to me thank you Jesus I love the song because it goes on to say that in the fullness of your grace in the power of your name you lift me up thank you Jesus how many feel God lifting you up right now God is lifting me up God is causing elevation to happen in my life God is causing expansion to take place 
on my life and I thank God that in this moment that I receive the overflow somebody begin to praise him and begin to thank God for overflow thank you Jesus and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said as he lifts me up as you lift him up thank you Jesus as he lifts me up as he elevates us I'm going to continue to lift him up thank you Jesus I'm going to say it again as we lift God up thank you Jesus God is going to do a work as he lifts me up I'm going to lift him up and he said if I be lifted up from the earth he said I'll draw all men unto me prophesy to your neighbor and say neighbor growth is coming prophesy to your neighbor and say neighbor prosperity is right around the corner prosperity is on the way prophesy to your neighbor and tell them grace hallelujah it's for you grace is coming to you and what God has for you it is for you there's some things that you got to know there's some things that you got to be assured of when it comes to our father you got to be sure that God is going to take care of you. You got to be sure that God is not going to let you fall. You got to be sure that God is not going to let you drop. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout, glory to God. I know things seem unusual. We're living in an unusual situation, an unusual season, even in our region, even in our city. Thank you, Jesus. The unexpected seem like it's happening. People are dying. Murders are happening in our region, in our area. And it seemed unusual. But thank you, Jesus, for the prophet Isaiah. Even the youth are fainting. Thank you, Jesus. The youth are weary. Thank you, Jesus. Young men are falling. Young women are falling. But look at your name. Look at your neighbor and say, it is the way for me. Look at your neighbor. It's the way for me. Thank you, Jesus. And with the weight comes renewal. With the weight comes restoration. With the weight comes strength. I prophesy to somebody that's been weary to be strengthened in the things of God. Thank you, Jesus, to mount up in this season. Mount up. Thank you, Jesus, in this season. Get ready to run. Thank you, Jesus. Get ready to run. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You might be saying, preacher, thank you, Jesus. It seems like I can't go no more. Preacher, it seems like I've been weighed down. Thank you, Jesus, with the cares of life. My God, but get ready to run in this next season. Getting ready to run. Getting ready to walk because God is getting ready to advance you. Thank you, Jesus. And the steps of a good man and a righteous man, a righteous woman are ordered by the Lord. Bible says, I'll make your feet like hinds feet. Thank you, Jesus. That means I'll cause you to jump over some things that used to trip you up. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God that I can look back and see where God has brought me from and some things that used to trip me up. 
God has given me the spiritual agility to rise above it all. God has given me the spiritual agility to jump over the negativity, to jump over the pain, to jump, thank you Jesus, over everything that the enemy has tried to do. Thank you Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, it's the way for me. somebody and tell them it's the way for me but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up somebody say mount up on wings like eagles get ready to soar get ready to fly thank you Jesus they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint look at somebody and say it's the way for me I know sometimes it's hard to wait because we live in a society where everything should happen right now we live in a world where everything is fast paced and so sometimes it's hard to wait it's hard to wait but look at your neighbor and say if you wait God has more for you if you wait God is going to turn it around if you wait thank you Jesus God is going to supply your every need if you wait God is going to open up the window if you wait thank you Jesus if you allow patience to have her perfect work in you that she may be perfect and entire wanting nothing it's the way for me I'm waiting on God thank you Jesus I'm not going to allow the enemy to cause me to try to pull the hand of God when it's not my season but God if you say not right now I'm willing to wait on you and when I wait on you my blessing shall be exceeding my blessing shall be abundant my blessing shall be more than I can ask or think look at your neighbor and say if you wait come on testify to two people and tell them wait on the Lord come on tell them it's the wait for me it's the wait for me yes Lord it's the wait for me God's gonna turn it around if I wait God's gonna open the door if I wait yes Lord God is going to give me my due season if I wait. Thank you, Jesus. Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season, if you faint not, thank you, Jesus, you shall reap. Thank you, Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Everybody standing, stand if you can. If you can't stand, if you can't stand, if you can't stand, it's the wait for me. God does not have the capacity to faint. God does not have the capacity to be weary. God does not possess that capacity. And so he's God. And so when we get in moments where we seem to be fainting, and when we get in moments where we seem to be weary, since God does not possess the quality, the quality or the capacity to faint or be weary, it allows God to stand up and be God in our life to give us the strength that we need in those moments where we have trouble waiting on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. I said, wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. Hallelujah. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Thank you, Jesus. 
don't be afraid. I hear the Lord saying, don't be afraid to wait on the Lord in this season. Because I was talking about the shift and the, the shift and uh, as it concerns detachments uh, while I was preaching. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord saying, don't fear the detachment. Don't fear the shift. You, be say, you may be saying, man of God, I, I, I feel like if I move, if I shift, I feel like if I detach, uh, then, then I don't, I might not be able to see uh, exactly my way. You know, because uh, sometimes when we're attached to certain things and when we're attached to people, we think we're seeing something. We think we can see the way. But truth of the matter is, somebody say truth of the matter is, if we've disconnected from God, that we can't see what we think we can see. Glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. And so God is shifting in the month of September. God is shifting in the month of September. And, and the Lord is bringing it back to my remembrance right now. I hear the Lord saying, amen, for somebody that's in the house, amen, on today, glory to God, that the decision that you make in the month of September shall reflect glory in the month of December. I see December. I see December strong. I feel December strong in my spirit that there is a, a deadline or there is a, a decision that needs to be made. Somebody say by December, by December. And I hear the Lord saying that the decision that you make now in the month of September shall reflect glory in December. Glory to God. Somebody lift up your hands and receive the Lord right now. Come on, lift up your hands and receive the word of the Lord. The decision that you make, I can't wait to hear the testimony. There's a decision that you're going to make in the month of December. It's going to reflect glory in the month of December. I prophesy it because I hear it. Thank you, Jesus. And I hear the Lord saying, don't be afraid to detach Accept the shift, and God is going to do a new thing in the month of December. Somebody say, in the month of December. That's, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's the wait for me. That's the challenge of the saints. As I said, we live in a, Prophet is Judas, we live in a fast-paced world. Everybody moving so fast, and so waiting is a challenge for the people of God. I mean, my, my God, I'm talking about in life, naturally, spiritually, in ministry, waiting is a serious situation for the men and the women of God. Thank you, Jesus. Because uh, for some of us, the enemy play on us because uh, we, he make us feel like if we wait, then we're missing something. But if I wait, I see everybody else going. So if I wait, then I don't, you, you understand. Thank you, Jesus. But we have to learn how to wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. And wait on the timing of the Lord. So get your neighbor one more time and say, it's the wait for me. It's the wait for me. It's the wait. Amen. I'm willing to wait, Lord. I'm willing to wait uh, until the manifestation comes. I'm willing to stay in position until the manifestation comes. I'm willing to wait until the manifestation surfaces. I see something in the spirit, but it has not happened in the natural and God, I'm willing to wait until my spiritual and my natural collide. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with waiting as long as I'm waiting on God. Yes, Lord. You might not have to wait on your job and you might not be willing. But when it comes to waiting on God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you praise. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you right now for this word. Lord, we ask that you would give us the courage and the strength not to become faint while we wait. Help us, oh God. Strengthen us to be able to wait on you. Give us the assurance to be able to wait on you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are, that even as we are in times that are uncertain, and the, the, the youth are fainting, and the, the young men are falling, even the youth shall faint and be weary. Thank you, Jesus. 
We're living in a time where our city is, uh, the enemy seems to be attacking our city and it seems like young men are falling. Young women are falling. People are shooting and people are getting gunned down. Even in our city, there was a time where we would turn on the news and look at, look at the news to see stuff like that in other areas, but it seemed like the enemy is creeping up in our region. Thank you, Jesus. But they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. God will cause us, even in that, to mount up with wings as eagles. Even in that, God will cause us to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. I encourage you, I encourage the saints of God in person and those that are watching this on online, I encourage you, don't be weary in well-doing in this next season. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. This is not a time to faint. Look at your neighbor and say, don't you dare faint. Don't you dare faint. Don't you dare faint. Don't you dare faint. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. Jay? You good? That's right. Don't faint. That's my Florida State. We warriors. You know, I'm going to say this, but hear me in the spirit. We went through some seasons of loss. But God is putting us on a trajectory that's going to cause us to win in this season. Hear me in the spirit. I'm not just talking football. Thank you, Jesus. And God is going to cause you, amen, to come up. God is going to cause you, amen, to come out in this next season of your life. You went through some loss in the prior seasons. And no doubt. You know how they get, you know how they get on social media when you go to losing, they go to picking at you, talking about you. Forget when you was whooping their tail. You understand? You understand. Ain't that right, Reverend Face? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But God is getting ready to restore the years that the locust and the pommel worm tried to take up. There's a ministry inside of you. Thank you, Jesus. There's a word in you. There's a ministry inside of you that's going to be cultivated. It's going to grow. Amen. And God is getting ready to cause prosperity to come to your life for your faithfulness. Everything that you've lost, God say, I'm going to give you double. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say double. Double. Somebody say double. Hallelujah. It's the wait for me. We give you the glory tonight praise you because you are our God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I feel led. Amen. Uh, those, amen. Uh, this, this may not be for you. Amen. But there are those, amen, that may uh, have come into the live. Amen. Uh, uh, and, and we're not able to sow. Amen. I want you to grab a seed of $10. Amen. And sow into your next. Amen. Sow amen, into your next. Amen. Amen. That might not be for everybody. Glory to God. But if you feel an unction in your spirit, I heard the Lord say, sow $10. Amen. Amen. Everybody that, amen, oh, it feels an unction to sow into this anointing, to sow into this word, word, to sow into your next, to sow that God will give you the strength and tenacity to wait on him. It's the wait for me. That's the key to your next. If you heard nothing else I've said tonight, the key to your next is to wait. Not say don't move, but wait. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, ba 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 sha ta da 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 bo ho sha. Ah ya da da bo ho sha ta 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 da ba. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The race is not given to the swift. Thank you, Jesus. No to the strong, the battle to the strong, uh, but to, to the one that endureth to the end. God, we bless you tonight. Amen. I'm getting ready to pray a prayer, amen, of closing, but I, I just hear this in my spirit. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, come on, Lady Candace, thy hands have provided. Yes, come on, great is thy faith. So 
summer and winter. Second verse. Springtime and harvest. Sun, moon, and stars in In their courses above. Yes, yes. They join with the angels. Yes. In manifold witness. Witness. To thy great faithfulness, come on, thy forever will be. And great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Come on, morning by morning. Morning by morning. morning. New mercy. Point to yourself. I see. I see. Oh, ba, 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 ba. All I have needed. All I have needed. Thy hand. Thine hand has provided. Come on, great is. Great is thy thankfulness. Oh, great is thy thankfulness. Come on, great is great is the high Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Unto, unto me. me. Oh, ba 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 sha ta da da bo. You've been faithful. Every time I wake up in the morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, unto, unto me, yes. Come on, lift up your voices, yes. Come on, we're getting ready to go home, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Come on, lift your voice. Yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, you've been faithful. So I say, yes, Lord. Come on, lift up your voice. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, lift it up, lift it up. Yes, Lord. Faithful, Lord. You've been faithful. Faithful, Lord. Faithful, Lord. Oh, faithful, Lord. Faithful, Lord. I just saw I just saw Lydia uh, name come across the uh, a phone and uh, Lady Candace told me this morning that uh, that she had a con- you had a conversation with Lydia and uh, asked me to pray for Lydia and in prayer today I was praying for Lydia and the Lord told me to tell you Lydia that the very same prayers that you prayed for others, the strength that you have prayed on others, God say, I'm getting ready to give you the same strength, double. Oh my God, Lydia, I hope you hear me right now in the spirit. I said the same strength that you pray on others as an intercessor and a woman of God, a woman of prayer, I heard the Lord say that he's getting ready to restore strength to you double. 
Thank you, Jesus. Restoration. Don't forget the word that I prophesied to you the other Sunday. I prophesied to you the other Sunday that the next 40 days are yielding restoration in your life. And I'm not sure what the count is, Lady Candace. You have to let me know. Thank you, Jesus. But whatever the number is, I continue to prophesy, decree, and declare that those days that shall happen, not many days hence, shall cause restoration in your life. Restoration in your finances. Restoration in your ministry. Restoration in your prayer life. Restoration in your posture. Restoration in your body. Ooh, I felt that. I said restoration in your body. Restoration in your body. I speak healing to your body. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall. The Lord shall. Restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Restoration for Lydia. Restoration. I call you forth, Lydia Johnson. I call, I, I call your spirit to come forth now. In the name of Jesus, restoration is hitting your house right now. Not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, says the Lord. Glory to God. Prophesy restoration to your body. Mm. I speak that everything internally will line up the will of the Lord shall be done in your body. Thank you, Jesus. Restoration, healing, manifestation. I pray now that even as you sleep tonight that God is performing healing in your body and that what the doctors said, hallelujah, and what the doctors are looking for, they shall not see in the name of your son Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. My God. I speak to the pain now. I speak that your medication shall be faith. Hey, somebody catch it in the spirit. I said, I speak that your medication shall be faith. Thank you, Jesus. That no more will the doctors, glory to God, hallelujah, calls you and give you doses and doses of medication. Thank you, Jesus. But I decree and declare, thank you, Jesus, that even on tonight, that God will touch your body as you sleep. That God will heal your body as you sleep. And that you'll wake up tomorrow being able to praise God with the limbs that were in pain. That you'll be able to lift up your hands tomorrow morning and worship God with the limbs that we're in pain in the name of Jesus I decree and declare it to be so God bless you tonight God bless you tonight God bless you tonight look at your neighbor one more time and say it's the wait for me they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength God is renewing strength God is restoring strength and we speak that restoration is happening hallelujah, hallelujah. That restoration is occurring in the month of September. That everybody in this house and those that are watching us online, everybody under the sound of my voice shall have a testimony of how God has restored a matter in the month of September. I decree it and declare and speak it prophetically as a prophet of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight for this word. We thank you that the word is settled in heaven. We thank you for your glory that rests in this house. We thank you for your spirit that continues to hover in this space. We give you the praise right now. God, we thank you that you are awakening and you are manifesting healing 
and breakthrough and deliverance in our lives. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. That you're working in us both the will and to do according to your good pleasure. And we give you praise tonight. And we give you honor. We give you glory. We praise you for what you're getting ready to do. And we leave out of this place with a praise in our spirit. We leave out of this place with praise in our heart. We leave out of this place with praise on our lips. Praise in our feet. We give you praise tonight. Honor and glory in Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Come on. Clap your hand and praise him. Yeah, Lord. God bless you.